What's going on guys? Uh, so uh, I know it's been a couple of days. Well, it's been a couple of days since I last worked on the car. Today it's the it's the day I finally work on the fucking car and and get it done so I can uh, get it running. Um, I haven't been driving it for like a week and just because I've been waiting for parts. But um, today's the day um, I finish up the car. Last time I was filming, I ended up taking the intake manifold off because uh, when I took off the injectors the injector rail without taking off the intake manifold there was some uh, plastic in the intake ports so I ended up taking the intake manifold off so I could clean the intake ports off yeah so this is uh, the intake manifold I ended up cleaning it uh, I threw it in the parts washer just scrubbed it down real nice so came out real nice that's the intake manifold so these are the six injectors so I ended up ordering a rebuild kit and this one right here has already been rebuilt like new o-rings uh, the new filter in the end that goes in here the new cap uh, plastic spacer so all that has been replaced so this one's a hundred percent done I still need to do the rest of these so uh, kind of started on this one I just took off all the shit yeah, I took off the filter too. So I'll show you guys how to rebuild the injectors. Um, it's pretty simple. So obviously freaking the two O-rings, that plastic spacer right here on the bottom, that cap. The cap is pretty difficult to take off, but I'll show you guys how to do it. And then the filter at the end is pretty difficult to take off, but I'll show you guys how to do it. So um, pretty much all you need is the rebuild kit. And this is what the rebuild kit looks like. Uh, it comes with two types of caps. Obviously, the ones that came off the injectors are the ones that you're gonna use. So, if yours has a small hole, use that one. If yours has the larger hole, like these over here, on the right side, then use, obviously use that one. But yeah, that's what comes in the, in the rebuild kit. As I said, this one's already been rebuilt, and I'll pretty much show you guys how, to, how, to, how I did that. So yeah, uh, it doesn't matter what order uh, you end up doing this in, but I mean, take off this O-ring, take that off, put it, put it aside, and then, uh, so the way to get this cap off is kind of difficult, but um, you can try like prying it. You're gonna, you're gonna have to break it off, but you can try prying on it. What I ended up doing is just uh, getting some dikes and just fucking fucking this up All right, all right guys, so I got that cap off uh, And then after you take the cap off you're able to take off this o-ring And then that plastic spacer and Then just clean out the end I already took out the the little filter on this one, but um, Oh, yeah on this other one the filter's still in there. So, do the same thing I just did on this one, but um, the way to take off the filter is you're gonna need that screw and then just screw it at the end, just like that. Screw it in there. And you're gonna have to, and then you're gonna have to get some, uh, some vice grips or some pliers and just pull them apart. So you just... Okay guys, so I just socked the fucking table. I just socked the table, and that shit kinda hurt. But anyways, actually I forgot which one it was. But just like that, pull them apart and the filter comes out, it's stuck on the screw. And then, you're gonna use the screw again, so just hold that filter, and just screw the screw. There's, there's a little filter. So, that's it for the filters. All right guys, so, yeah, so I pretty much Stripped all of them out so I can put all new parts 
in them. So I'll show you guys how to rebuild uh, an injector. So pretty much put that, put an O-ring on the end, just like that. So first O-ring, next spacer, O-ring, and then when installing the cap, I found it easier if you put it at the end because it doesn't just like you're gonna need some strength to put this shit in so the way I ended up doing it is I got a 10 millimeter socket now put it at the end and just push them push it till it's on there so you'll hear a, a click when it's all the way in so caps on and then all we need is that filter at the end so after you put all everything on you want to leave that little filter out because I'm gonna show you guys how to how to clean the injector so it's all nice and clean through the inside um, and I don't want oh well you don't want the filter to be filtering out all the, the chemical or the cleaner that's going through the injector so pretty much uh, all you're gonna need when you're uh, cleaning out the injector is uh, you're gonna need two wires and power source which in my case I'm gonna be using a battery a car battery and then um, some car cleaner or in my case throttle bottle cleaner so it comes with a, the little straw thing and then I ended up taping a little hose to the end of it which you see right here and then the end of it it's gonna go inside the injector so once that's all set up I'm gonna the two wires are gonna go to the to the injector the positive and negative side so I'm pretty much gonna give it 12 volts so when I give it 12 volts the solenoid inside the injector is gonna open up and start spraying but instead of spraying fuel it's gonna be spraying the, uh, the carb cleaner so I'll show you guys how to do it but um, yeah essentially that's what I'm gonna be doing all right guys so I have this uh, pretty much set up how I want it so the cleaner to the hose to the injector and then the two wires one to the positive and the other one's gonna go to the negative and then so I'm gonna be spraying the cleaner and then I'm, I'm just gonna be tapping the negative side because you don't want the, the injector to be on the whole time because if you think about it the injector pulses so even though it's not, I'm not doing it as fast as it's uh, as it usually goes. I don't want to keep the solenoid inside the injector on the whole time. So I just want to tap the negative side of the battery so that the injector sprays while I'm spraying the cleaner through it. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. You guys can like barely see it in the camera. I can tell. See how the cleaner's coming out? tapping the negative battery post. Just do that for a little bit and then you should clean the injector. Well that's pretty much how I clean the injectors. So do that to all six and then you should be set. So after your injectors are all cleaned up, you're gonna have to put the put the filter that goes in here. So I'll show you guys how to put that filter in. So here's a new filter and uh, put it inside the injector. And what I did is I just turned it over and I didn't do it on the table but on the ground just press real hard down and and this the, the filter will eventually go in because it's like freaking tight so yeah on the ground or something on a flat surface uh, turn it up to turn the injector over and then just hardcore like press down and the the filter should go in see just like that you'll hear a pop when it goes in and uh, yeah just make sure it's flush with the top of the injector all right guys so all the injectors are rebuilt new filters at the end o-ring spacer o-ring and the cap and I also showed you guys how to clean the inside 
and remember uh, clean it without any filter in here so I showed you guys how to clean it with the with the carb cleaner and then the little straw and then a ho uh, like a hose attachment so that's that and then um, yeah after that all your injectors should be rebuilt um, now it's time to put them in the in the intake manifold and then yeah get ready for the intake to go in all right guys so I'm gonna start getting uh, all the injectors ready to put on the fuel rail uh, so when you're putting any type of o-ring inside something always lubricate it because you don't want to pinch that o-ring and then cause a leak so here's some lube just like that and then goes inside the fuel rail so remember uh, lube your o-rings and then you should be fine Alright guys, so this is a tube that goes uh, like been, or under the, the intake. It's easier if you put in this tube with zip ties uh, compressing the spring. So otherwise you're going to have to fight the spring and trying to get the o-ring in there and all that stuff. Alright guys, so this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, I've, already, I've already cleaned out uh, the mating surface right here. So I got new gaskets and uh, cleaned up the intake and yeah, uh, I'm pretty much ready to put this back in. One thing I want to uh, show you guys because I didn't end up showing how to take off the intake is uh, every, every nut has a washer. So make sure you don't lose any of them. So right after you take off the nut, make sure you get that washer with it. So all the nuts and washers are right here. That's holding the air box or the map. But yeah, so make sure you get that. Okay, so somewhere right there, I got the so-called bitch tube in. Just use the zip ties, and then um, after you get it in place, cut the zip ties, and then just hold the tube while you cut the zip ties. After you cut the zip ties, then you'll be able to guide the tube in, so it makes it way easier. guys so the car is done and I've been driving it for a little bit and uh, it's uh, actually running really good and uh, yeah so it's either being perfect the way it should be and yeah see like like it doesn't stumble anymore and uh, all the injectors are sealed, so yeah, um, that's pretty much the video.